Hey guys, it's Connor, and today I'm gonna try and save us all some money. Adobe is responsible for some of the best creative software in the industry. It is the industry standard for programs for photography, for video production, for graphic design, but it can be hard to foot the bill for all of that if you're just starting out or you just don't have a really big budget to work with. Or maybe you're like me and you've had the Adobe price raised on you twice this last year and want to see what you can do about it. There have always been these sort of gray area fixes where you could split the cost of a license with a friend and share it, or you can reset the free trial indefinitely, or some people just outright pirate the software and don't pay a dime for it. The problem is there's a lot of downsides with all of these. Not only are some of these methods illegal or at least going against Adobe's terms of service, which means they could technically terminate your account, but you're also losing out on all the new features and bug fixes that they're gonna provide you with in the new updates. And while you might not care about a lot of these fancy new features, if you've used Adobe Premiere, you know how important these bug fixes are. Looking at you, Adobe. Not only that, but I would get shut down for promoting any of those methods so instead i decided to put together a video on things that i found to help you save money on adobe premiere the legitimate way i myself have been a legitimate user for years and years now and i found a few different tricks to save money both when you're signing up and if you're already an existing user yes you can get a lower price you can get discounts so if you're a new user we're going to go over all that stuff first but make sure you watch till the end so you understand how to keep saving money long after your initial sign up if you're just signing up now there are two really good options for you and the first is through Adobe's special offers. If you go to the website and scroll down, you're gonna see a page link for their current offers. And if you go there, you can usually find some pretty sick discounts on Adobe stuff. Some of it's just, you know, free stock footage and things like that, but they often have significant discounts. Right now, they're just running a sale where you get 40% off your subscription for like a year. It's awesome, and if, if there's no deal at the time, wait it out a little bit, or maybe reach out to a support agent and ask if they have any deals coming up soon. They might even be able to just give you one right off the bat because you're interested in signing up now. But we're gonna get more to how support agents can help you out later. Failing Adobe's special offers and discounts, there is another option if you're a student. You can get student pricing on this software and a lot of people don't realize that. You don't have to be full-time in school, you just have to have some sort of proof of your education enrollment. I've had friends who are going part-time or taking night classes or just doing courses online. It doesn't matter, as long as you can provide proof that you are enrolled and you are a student, you can get an educational discount. I don't know if this is like intentional or just a complete oversight, but most of the people I know who signed up when they were students and got the student discount have been paying that rate ever since. Just throwing it out there. I mean, obviously Adobe can't keep track of how long it takes you to do your schooling. So here we are. If you need a piece of software just for one project, then you can always just take the free trial. It's seven days long, but that is the only limit on the software, is the time frame. You can fully edit and color grade and export a video, no problems, as long as you do it within that seven day window. The last tip for new users is that you don't actually have to get the entire Adobe Creative Cloud suite. I know that's what they push in their marketing and it's all over their website because it makes them more money, but you don't actually have to get everything. You can get a license for just a single piece of software, or right now they also have a bundle for photographers. I wouldn't be surprised if in the future they start releasing more bundles for different creative disciplines as well. That's enough about new users, let's talk about those of us who are currently subscribed and how we can continue to save money in the long run. I found this out completely by accident, but I'm really glad that I did. The other day I went to cancel my Adobe subscription. We'll talk about why in a second, but the important thing is that when you go to cancel, they ask you why you're canceling, and I clicked on price. It's just too high, and I've had the price raised on me twice this year with no reason, no explanation, not even a heads up ahead of time. So I clicked price and was immediately taken to a page where they had three special offers for me. The page said that because I've been a loyal customer since 2017, they can offer me these special offers. And one of them was pretty much useless. It was just reminding me that I could do a cheaper plan with less apps, but I need access to more than one or two apps. So that didn't help. But the second and third offers were actually extremely helpful. The second was showing that I could just get a period of 60 days completely free. 
I wouldn't have to pay for any of it. The third offer was to contact a support agent and see if they can put together a custom deal for me. So obviously I was curious and right away reached out to a support agent. Within about five to 10 minutes, they had told me, all right, well, we're gonna give you the next three months completely free. And then the remaining nine months of the next year, you're gonna pay at a lower rate. In hindsight, I probably should have done that free 60 day period first and then reached out to a customer support agent when I tried to cancel again, but I don't even know if that works. One of you guys can test it and let us know. Obviously I took their offer right away and now I'm saving quite a bit of money on my Adobe subscription. Now, I don't actually know if this is a time gated kind of thing. I don't know if you have to be a subscriber for a couple years in order to get this offer or if you can sign up today and immediately do the same process I did to get that discount. I'm not sure that's something you have to test yourself, but either way that is an option that's going to be there for you at some point in time. I've got one more tip for people who are already subscribed to save money, but before we get there, I want to talk about why this all worked and how they can even do this. I don't know for sure because I don't have all this information, but I have a pretty good theory about why this method works. A few years back, Adobe switched from selling the actual software so that you just pay a couple hundred bucks and then you own that piece of software to a subscription model. And that was very intentional. Adobe realized that if I buy Photoshop CS6 or whatever, I'm probably not gonna upgrade when they release the next iteration of Photoshop. I just there's just not enough reason for me to shell out a couple hundred bucks more for the new version that just has a couple extra features. So their old customers weren't making them money anymore. They'd just stick with a piece of software for like five, six, seven years before they bought again. So by making it a subscription model, they can force everyone to constantly be paying for the software. And in a way, you're constantly paying for those updates as well. It's no surprise that Adobe's profits went up by a lot. So they have a lot more wiggle room if now and then they have to give someone a deal to keep them on. And that's the big thing with the subscription model is that you need to keep people in that subscription in order to keep profiting from them. They have to be on board. Yes, they're paying less money per month, but you have to keep them on board to make that money over time. So they're willing to make deals and willing to cut you some slack in order to keep you with Adobe and to keep you locked into their system. It's very similar to your cell phone or internet providers, where if you call them up and say, this company is offering me a really good deal, so I wanna cancel my account, they're gonna say, whoa, hold up, we'll give you that same deal, and we'll toss in this extra thing too, just to keep you on board as a show of your loyalty and all this kind of stuff. So there's a lot of wiggle room there. They're making enough money off of you that they can cut you a deal now and then. They're making more than enough in profits compared to what they actually have to spend in order to get these services up and running for you. Lots of companies do this in tons of different industries. So it's a really good exercise to now and then go and just fake cancel your account or subscription to any sort of service and see if they try and stop you by offering you something. A lot of the time, that's exactly what they're going to do. You don't even have to cancel. You don't have to give up that thing that you love so much, but you get a better deal on it. All of that aside, I've still got one more tip for you that my friend Andrew Baina found out completely by accident. And if you don't know his channel, you should really check it out. It's really good stuff. We were complaining one day about how we got the price raised on us a couple times this year. And we both signed up when we were students, but to have our price raised twice this year, it clearly wasn't just saying, oh, you're probably done your school now, so we're gonna give you the regular rate. I was paying like over double what I was originally paying for no reason. At least they didn't provide me with any sort of reason for that. A couple days later, he reached out and said, hey, I think I figured out a way around this. I canceled my account and then I signed up for just a single app license. After that, I went into my account immediately and upgraded to the full Adobe suite and all of a sudden I'm paying less money than I was a week ago. Now this might not work for everyone if you're already paying the price that you should be and the price that he is now paying, but he and I were paying upwards of like 80, 80 to 90 dollars Canadian for the entire suite when we used to be paying like $56 and then before that it was something like 30, 40 bucks. So if you're paying that much higher rate, try this process of canceling, getting the single app license and then upgrading to the entire suite to see if you can fix that problem yourself. 
this is the method that I was trying to do when I discovered that other option where they can give you a custom deal or give you a period of free usage. We still don't know why the price was raised in the first place, and when I reached out to that support agent, I didn't even ask for a custom deal, I just said, hey, I just want to know why the price was raised. And instead, they just deflected, didn't answer the question, and just gave me that custom deal instead and focused on the deal. Which was fine by me, but if you do get the price raised on you, that's another option that you may have in your back pocket for when you need it. Those are all my tips for saving money on Adobe products. If you feel like this helped you out, I'd really appreciate you helping me back by subscribing, liking, and share this video with your friends so we can help everyone save money. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. All right, I'm done. Now I can play. Yes, now I can play with you. Get your ball, get your ball.